Okay, so we're going to work on a combination type question here. Mm -hmm. uh, they've given us our, our requirements here. We have two guys who are centers, two guys who are forwards, and four guys that are defenders. And the question asks us how many ways can we choose? That comma should be there. One center, two forwards, and two defenders. Okay. Because there's no order to this, then we'll we'll try to draw some pictures to help us make sense of this. So these guys will be our centers. The triangles will represent our centers. Um, pentagons are going to represent our four forwards, and seven-sided ones are going to represent. I can't remember their names, but they represent our defenders. <clears throat> okay. Centers, forwards, and defenders. Right. We only need one center. We only need two forwards. I'm not so good at drawing these. Perfect. And I'm going to make those circles. We only need two defenders. Um, because we know there's no order to this, these are going to be combination type questions. Okay. So for each of the three questions, or for each of the three options, there's going to be a different combination. Okay. Um, we already know because there's a possible of two, we're going to be doing two, and there's only one option we're taking it. So two choose one for the first set. The second set of forwards, we know there are four options, not an F, it should be a combination. So there are four forwards and we need to take two out of them. And the exact same idea is with the defenders. So we know how to do that and we've calculated this. But what's really important here is what is the operation between here going to be? And it's going to be multiplication between them. And we've got to think of the reasoning why. Well, the reasoning why, uh, we're just going to quickly calculate. This combination ends up being 2, this one ends up being 6, and this one ends up being 6. So let's think of this like a, a tree diagram. Okay? Let's say we take one of these options. We take option 1 or we take option 2. Okay? Those are, we either choose very obviously this guy to be center or we choose that guy to be center. It makes yeah. sense, right? So we'll call center A and center B. Thank you. A and center B. Well, Let's call these guys A, B, C, D. Um, and there are six options to do this because we've got to take two. Well, since there are six options, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, we've gone from two and six options. And if we count all the options where we are right now, without even including the defenders, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, in order to simplify this using these two numbers, we've multiplied these probabilities together. Okay? And then from those probabilities, and I'm only going to do it with two of the guys because it's going to get very messy. From that spot, we have another six options each time we go down this tree diagram. So instead of making the tree diagram long, uh, as long as we know that the, pop, the probabilities or the options, we're going to just multiply these terms by each other. And that's how the tree grows. That's where all of these limbs come from. So 2 by 6 by 6, we end up with, there are 72 ways the coach can put together this team. Does that make sense to why yeah. we multiply? Okay. So that's it.